Ever watched a long video and thought this could be an amazing short clip? Well, what if I told you there's a way to transform those lengthy videos into captivating YouTube shorts with just a few clicks? We're going to harness the power of AI to sift through hours of content and pinpoint those golden moments that can go viral as shorts. So stay tuned because I'm going to reveal a game changing software that does exactly that, making your content creation process easier and quicker. Let's get started. So this is the tool that we're going to be checking out. It's called Opus Clip and you can go and grab a free trial. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm not affiliated with them at all and check it out and play around and see what you think. But in short, you're going to need a video that has an audio and the audio needs to have words that are spoken, otherwise it won't work. So once you've gone and created your free account, you wanna to go to your dashboard and this is where you're going to add your video. Now you can copy and paste a link to a video that you have, whether that's on YouTube, Zoom, Rumble, Google Drive, StreamYard and a variety of other places, or you can drag a file in there. So I'm just gonna drag and drop a video that I've made specifically to demonstrate this purpose. This video is going to upload. You can see it's uploading here. So let's just pause the video. Okay, so our video has been uploaded. Let's scroll down and choose a style for our captions. You can choose any of these ones. It's entirely up to you. There are some custom ones as well, but we're just gonna choose this one for now. Now the video that I uploaded was under a minute long and I need to decide on my preferred clip length. So I'm gonna go with 30 seconds. You can go with 30 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds or longer. However, if you're going to upload these as YouTube shorts, then you're going to want to either go this one or this one because a YouTube short cannot be longer than 60 seconds. If you want to share these clips on Pinterest or somewhere else, then of course you can go longer. Now, of course, if I wanted to have multiple clips created, I'd need a longer video. But in this case, we're going to scroll up here and we're going to get clips in one click. So we're going to click this purple button and now we've just got to wait for this to happen. And you can leave this screen, you can go and do something else. You'll get a message via email once your clip has been created. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back and show you what it comes up with. Okay, so Opus Clip has created a couple of clips. The first one up here is given a score of 99 out of 100. The higher the score, the more chance it's got of going viral. Now, obviously this score is something that Opus Clip has provided. It doesn't mean at all that it's gonna go viral. Then if we come down here, this one's got a slightly smaller score of 85 and it's created us two clips. My video was short. If you had a longer video, then Opus Clip would go and it would create more clips and you could pick and choose whether you wanted to use one of them or all of them. So if you've got a video that was 10, 20, 30 minutes long, then you could end up with 10 or 15 or maybe even more YouTube shorts that you could schedule and post. So what can we do? Well, for this particular clip here, we've got a couple of choices. We can auto post or schedule it. Maybe you wanna schedule it to go public on your YouTube channel at a certain time and date. If you want to export as an XML, you can. You can just download the file as HD and then manually upload it to YouTube, which is probably what I'm gonna do. But first, you're going to want to edit the clip just to make sure that everything is correct. Now, I can see one mistake that this has made. It's spelt a word wrong, but it's a Japanese word that I pronounced in English, so it's probably my fault. But let's click on edit clip. That brings us here. So you can see from my complete script, this is the section that has been converted into a short. We've got the video that we can see over here, which we can play if we want to. But first, I recommend that you read through and just make sure that it's you know, done everything correctly and it's not made any spelling mistakes. So this word here, shiratori, is not the actual correct spelling of the garden. So I'm gonna click on correct caption and then I'm just going to click on O and make sure that this is correct. Then I'll hit enter. And now this word is corrected and you can see it's automatically corrected here. So that's something important that you'll need to do, especially if you speak in you know, British English and it converts it naturally to American English, but you've got a British audience, that could be one thing, or technical terms. It can sometimes spell those incorrectly. But apart from that, it's done a, basically a perfect job. If you want to add any exclamation marks or full stops, you can of course do that using the same process that I've just showed you. So we can click anywhere on the timeline and we can just press play and start to watch the video. So I'll press play for a little bit. Then, as if by magic we find it, a secret part of the garden, untouched and perfect. Okay, so what else can we do? Maybe you don't like the ending of the clip. So you can click somewhere down here on the timeline 
and then split the scene at the current time. Then if you want to remove this section, you can make sure it's highlighted and you can delete it here. We're gonna click on this undo section. We don't need to do that. Now, a very important feature is here up at design. So let's click on design. And as you can see right now, we've got a little bit kind of blurred out here. So what I'm gonna do is click on fill and that brings the whole scene in. And to me, that looks much better. If you want to change the aspect ratio, you've got these three choices here. Now, by default, this is set as portrait for TikTok reels and shorts. You can change it to landscape if you want to put this on Vimeo or YouTube, square for Instagram or LinkedIn. You can also use square videos on Pinterest and portrait videos on Pinterest as well. Just bear in mind that if you do click on one of these, it will prompt you to save the clip before switching. You can switch anyways, but it's always best to save just in case you've made a mistake. If we come down further, there's a beta section here, which I've not tested out, which is called screen share mode. I've not tested it, so I'm not gonna talk about it in this video. If you want to add B-roll footage to your video, you can toggle this on. Just bear in mind that it might not be the kind of B-roll footage that you want. For this particular video, it wouldn't make sense because I've got all the footage I need. The footage is the video. But for certain things, it might be useful. You've got this auto emoji function as well. And if you want to, you can toggle this on or off. So this is an intro caption. So let's come back here. Um, this is the intro caption that it's provided. Make sure that it's okay. And then if you've got this toggled, it will auto add the caption. You can also come down here and obviously you can turn this off. You can get rid of all the captions and put them back on if you want to. And if you want to upload a watermark or a logo, etc., you can do so here. It recommends that you upload a high resolution PNG with a transparent background. You can create these super quickly on Canva if you don't know how. And that's pretty much it. Just make the changes that you want, then hit save and compile. So I'm gonna add that auto intro caption. I'm gonna hit save and compile, and then I'm gonna have to wait again for a few minutes while it does its thing. So again, I'll pause the video and be back in two secs. Okay, so the video has been rendered and we can play and have a look and you see it's added this intro caption which gives viewers a little bit of context as to what the video is about. So let's press play for a few seconds. And then, as if by magic we find it, a secret part of the garden, untouched and perfect, a tranquil... It looks pretty good to me and it was so easy to do. It was easy to create. I just took a random video, uploaded it to Opus Clip, played around with some settings and now I've got this nice YouTube short style video that I can then share on my YouTube channel. I can share it on Pinterest. I can share it on TikTok, Instagram. And if I had a longer video, I could create multiple clips and just save so much time. And we can do the same thing with this clip as well and make it look better so it looks like this. So that's Opus Clip. Now, how much does it cost? This is the pricing. So you've got your free trial, then you've got your starter, and then you've got your pro as well. So you can kind of scroll down and see which one is best for you. Obviously, the pro is gonna have more features. They've got AI B-roll as well, which is really, really cool. But again, you just choose what you want. You can schedule it to various social media platforms using their pro one. So you pick and choose the one you want. Thanks for watching, any questions let me know and I'll see you in another video soon. Take care.